Today's tutorial is an impromptu makeup look. I am using the Revealed 2 eyeshadow palette by Coastal Scents and this only come out on the 3rd of June. As some of you will notice I have gone darker with my hair again. So I'm just pinning that out of the way and then we're going to get started. For my foundation I'm using Illamasqua Skin Base and I'm using the Real Techniques Blending Sponge or Beauty Blender as they're known. I've run this sponge underneath the tap just to make it nice and spongy and it kind of doubles in size and becomes more supple and you'll find this gives your foundation much more flawless finish just by stippling it on you're not dragging up any dry skin and it just gives a really nice airbrushed finish I'm making sure to take that right around the hairline across the eyelids and down the neck and once that's on we're going to go in with some highlight and contour this foundation does come up quite pigmented under this light but it's not like that in the flesh they are really nice foundations so for the contour I'm using shade 14 which is a dark brown so I've mixed that in with a little bit of my own foundation and that's going to lighten it slightly so it's just a couple of shades darker just to create that nice shadow but I'm stippling it straight away the reason for this is because it is the dark shade I don't want it to set in place I just want to blend it straight away now I've shown you in other videos techniques of doing all the contour and highlight first and then blending your foundation over the top whereas I'm doing it the opposite way around this time so I can show you that there are plenty of ways that you can do this and there isn't a right or wrong way, it's just what suits you and these are obviously lighter foundations than the other colours I use which are like Derma Colour and Cryoil and Super Colour which are obviously a lot thicker. I'm mixing shade 2 with my foundation colour, shade 2 is the lightest colour that Inner Mask could do barring white and obviously I've mixed it with my foundation so it's not going to be too stark on the face. And that's a good tip if you're starting out as a makeup artist and you can't afford to buy the entire range of foundations. Just buy a light, a medium, a tan and a dark and you can just mix between them and that will give you the range you need. So to create that more natural highlight I've taken that in the same places I usually do which is across the forehead, down the nose, across the cheekbones at the top, down the chin and at the bottom of the jaw. And this is just going to bring in highlight to those areas and create more dimension to the face. You can use that same sponge to stipple, you don't need to clean it, just turn it round and it will work perfectly well, it's not going to distribute any of the dark colour over your light areas. I decided for a change to go a bit dark with my brows, so I'm using my Anastasia Brow Palette and I'm mixing Ebony and Brunette. So I'm using the Brunette at the beginning of the brow and I'm using Ebony towards the very back and then that's going to give me that nice gradient. As the brows at the front are naturally lighter, I'm just using what is left on the brush to pull forward so it will still remain lighter at the front. Then I just combed over my brows with a spoolie just to soften it all. I really like this brow gel by Ico, I'm using it quite a bit in my tutorials at the moment and it's got a hint of colour to it unlike a lot of brow gels so this one's really good. It's ideal if you're quite sparse and you want to just emphasise what hairs you have got and equally ideal if you've got tons of hair and you want to keep little unruly ones in place. So this is the Revealed 2 eyeshadow palette by Coastal Scents and it is beautiful, it contains matte colours as well as shimmers. Over the eyelid to begin with we're going to be using the third colour in which is a shimmery peach colour and it's beautiful and then on the inner corner we're going to be using the first colour which is like a shimmery vanilla. I do love the entire range of colours in this palette, it's all very warm but I do love that it contains both matte and shimmer. The only thing that's a bit of an issue for me is that the eyeshadows don't have names and the only reason that's a bit of an issue is because it makes it hard for me to tell you which ones I'm using, I can only point to. So now we've got those over the mobile eyelid, we are going to use this dusky pink shade into the crease. And this is a matte colour and we're working that in circular motions in a C shape from the outer corner, pulling that round through to the socket line about halfway across the eye. Once that's nicely blended, we're going to take this matte medium brown shade and we're going to work that on top of the dusky pink colour we've already applied. This is just going to deepen that colour and give us a nice soft sultry smoke to the eye. You want to keep working in circular motions with the blending brush to really soften this and then we're going to reapply just on that very outer V and then blend it again. Using a pencil brush allows us to be more precise and apply exactly where we need that extra darkness. Next I'm taking Tempting by MAC which is like a light brown. Then on a big fluffy blending brush I'm applying that to the inner socket and this is just going to warm up that area and tie it all in. Moving on we're going to take that same matte brown colour on a pencil brush and we're going to run that underneath the lower lash line. 
Where we've softened that same colour on the top lid, we want to pull that down to meet the lower lash line and then just use a big blending brush to just blend those together. Along the waterline I'm going to use a cold pencil and this one is a brown and it's by Krylon and it's a face liner meaning you don't just have to use it for your waterline you can also use it for your brows, your lips, anywhere. This one's really similar to Coffee by MAC. We're also taking that along the top waterline which means it's the skin underneath the lower lashes and then we're also going to line the top lid with it. This doesn't need to be too neat because we're actually going to blend this with an angled brush. It can be a little bit harder to apply a cold pencil to that lid so it might be handy to do what I'm doing and pull your skin out nice and tall so you can run the liner across it. Then as you can see I'm just using my angled brush just to run along that liner and soften it. Once I've done that I decided just to add a little bit of a flick at the outer edge and then I just blended that as well. I'm using my Shuramura eyelash curlers, I love these because they fit my eye shape nicely. The mascara I'm using is called Better Than Sex and it's by Too Faced and it is my favourite mascara I've used in forever and I will be using this for the foreseeable future. The eyelashes I've decided to use are by Eldora and these are H114 but I've cut into them as I wanted them to be a little bit more wispy and I'm applying these with duo glue and then applying a little bit of mascara just to the base of them and then a touch more to my lower lashes. I wanted the eyeshadow to be a touch darker so I'm going back in with that matte brown and I'm applying that from the outer corner and then blending it across just two thirds of the way. To bronze my skin up a little bit I'm using my Chanel Bronze Universal Soleil Bronzer Ditan something or other and I'm just applying that in the hollows of the cheeks. Then just above that I'm applying this cream pink blusher and this is by Boutique sold in Sainsbury's and it's lovely, highly pigmented and it goes on so smoothly, you'll love it. For the lips I couldn't decide which lip liner to use but I opted for the Ben Nye which is the bottom one and it's in the shade Brandy LP26. If you follow me on Instagram you'll see I put a little behind the scenes selfie up of my makeup look after this and the lip colour just looks so lovely with this eyeshadow but on camera it really doesn't do it justice, it looks overly pinky and it, it doesn't look like that in the flesh. So once I coloured the entire lip in with this, I then went over the top of that with Hue by MAC. This lipstick is really versatile and it suits loads of people and it's a good way of shearing over a colour. And that is my look complete. I hope you've liked it. Please give me a thumbs up as usual if you have. I will put a link into the description bar for this palette that I've used throughout the makeup look. And thank you for watching and thank you for all your comments.